Okay. All set? Yep. Okay, so what does citizen diplomacy mean to you? Oh, citizen diplomacy. I think everywhere we go, everyone we meet, especially in a city like Los Angeles, it's multicultural. And just, I think, touching, touching me, the, you know, spiritually touching other people. But it, when I've traveled and, and meeting people from other cultures and and it, it's just so amazing to me. I mean, when, I'm, when I've met some of the people that I've met who have 44 children in their families, and they, I always like to find out where they came, how, how they came from, where they've, uh, you know, they've often come light years from their, from their beginnings. And just, I, I love meeting people. I love sitting on an airplane and talking to someone who doesn't speak English and I don't speak their language. And we talk all the way for seven or eight hours. I've done that a few times. And here, especially in our country, so many people, they don't, you know, they don't know, they don't know us. And, and we aren't very well liked in, in a lot of places in the world. And it's so important to say hello, to, to give that smile to someone, yeah. to touch, to touch someone spiritually, to touch the heart. Yeah. You know, I like there's a saying I've heard is my soul touches the soul of the universe and everyone I meet. That's beautiful. And we try to remember that. So you've been a citizen diplomat for a while and you've hosted several individuals. What was your most memorable experience? Oh, I've been doing this for thirty years and uh, the first person I ever hosted was from uh, Suriname, and uh, I had gone down to your office and signed up. And I said, well, why can I host someone? And he said, well, what are you doing now? I said, well, nothing. And I said, well, we have someone here from Suriname. And none of us knew where Suriname was. This was like 19, 1982. And <laughs> but I found out later it was the old Dutch Vienna. But that, that woman, who was 26 years old, who right after she had been, been here in Los Angeles, she went back to her country. And um, she, her family was managing a radio station there. And, um, and they started speaking out a little bit politically that instead of playing Hindi music and, and cooking shows, they started speaking out the, and the, the, uh, the radio station was burned down, the newspaper was burned down, and all the communications uh, were burned down and they fled for their lives. And they, ha they did have they were a family of seven and uh, one of the older brothers was living in uh, Amsterdam. Well, I've become a very close and longtime friend of her younger sister, mm -hmm. uh, whose name is Nirmala. Uh, but Chitra works for the United Nations, in, uh, yeah, still in Geneva today, and, uh, and her sister has been here several times, and I've been to see her. And I've been to see some of the people from South Africa that I've met, and even in Thailand. The, uh, but, uh, I think some of the memorable ones, I think, were ones that, with this one I remember, he was from uh, a family of 34 children. Well, I'd already met someone before from 45, so I was, I was kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm always interested in what does, you know, what does your, what does your father do? Yeah. Well, in this case, his father was a sheep herder, and they were, they were living up, uh, they lived in the north of Somalia. And uh, the, uh, uh, there are lots of children, because there are five, four, four wives, I think, at any given time. And he had had a distant cousin, the father did, that lived in Mog Mog Mogadishu, the capital. And every time he came up to, to the visit the family, he would ask the father to give him one of the children. He wanted to take the child to, to teach it, to educate it. What does that mean? It means one less child to hurt the sheep. Mm -hmm. So always he would say no, but this one time he was up there visiting and he asked, you know, again for one of the children. So the father looks around and he says, oh, there's a little five-year-old over there. That one, take that one. And he did. And that's the one that I met who had now had a PhD in, in uh, economics. Oh my God. And I, I said to him, I said, do you ever think of what, what if your father hadn't chosen you? He says, every day of my life I give thanks. And of course, once something like that happens, then, then, then more.
more of the children, more of the people in Lavrania, and of course there's less people up there that hurt the sheep, but the life changes. The life changes so much, and I've, I've met many people like that, that, uh, to, you know, through my life. So that's one. That's, that's wonderful. Really Thank you so much yeah, for I your love experience. This. I love doing this. Doh, you're doing so great. Can we just ask one last question, Number the last one on the list there? Yeah. Was there another one? Yeah, the last one on the list. Well, what do you think of the event tonight? Oh, I love this. I have not been to this museum since it was very small. I don't even remember what I what it looked like, but I do remember I bought a pair of earrings in the gift shop, and I still <laughs> have them. And I think of this place, and, and I hadn't been back. And so when I saw this beautiful facade when I'm driving, I thought, well, where is that little museum? <laughs> and I said, oh my God, this is it. <laughs> and I'm, I, uh, I'm fascinated with, with some of the, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, displays. The exhibitions. Exhibitions. Yeah. Yes, it's so interesting. And did you notice that the, the, uh, the man, the uh, Del, Del Foro, I think, Gabriel Del Foro, who, who did the with the little pieces of the hair and that exhibition is the same one that did a large video exhibition in, in one of the last rooms there that was so different from, from the rest. I'll have to come back. It's, it's too much. It's too much to take in and you know to read and listen and really, really enjoy it. But I do. I mean it was they had the they had the dancer one dancer. I'd like to find out if he's on YouTube. I, I would love to share him. Yeah, he was amazing. <laughs> I got to talk to some of the people, uh, two of the people from Colombia. I talked to quite a bit. And uh, one, one is an art, um, a theater director, and the other is a writer. And one is, uh, not one, uh, three of them, and one is an actress. So, and it's amazing in these small, and these are small cities that they live in, that, that you know, they have I guess can, well, he had, the one that is the director, he has three jobs going <laughs> to support it, but he's, uh, he's a very, you know, I wanted to talk to him more about, to find out was his, was his family interested in the arts, or do they think, what is he thinking, you know, when he wanted to say he wants to be a, a theater director, <laughs> Yeah. but I didn't get to ask him. Well, thank you yeah. so much, this okay. was wonderful. I loved it. All right, thank, thank you. you.